Day four, your guests will be here in 10 days. 10 days. Oh my word. It's okay. We're going to be fine. I am Dana K. White of AslobcomesClean.com. I'm also the author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life and How to Manage Your Home Without Losing Your Mind. So how to manage your home without losing your mind, that is the guide to getting your house under control in a way that you can maintain forever and ever and always. That's not what this series is about. The series that I'm doing right now is a 14 day plan to getting your house ready to open your front door to guests. Or if you're not having guests, to get your house ready for the holidays so that you can take pictures of your family having fun without going, hey, y'all scoot over here real quick and do that thing again that you just did spontaneously so I can get a picture without the clutter in the background, okay? That's what this is. This is project-based. We are going day by day, being super crazy realistic about your home. You can adjust it to do it in two days. You can adjust it to do it in six months. I don't care. This is how I used to get my house ready for guests when my house was totally a disaster. I still use this plan because it keeps me focused and that is a big issue for me. Okay, so today is day four. Today, we are going to create your meal planning checklist for the time when your guests are in your home. It's possible this is just for a dinner party and that is perfectly fine, but this also could be for people staying for a long period of time. And so we're gonna take this thing that would otherwise be nagging in the back of your brain, like people are gonna wanna eat like three times a day for all the time that they're at my, okay. We're gonna take that out of your brain and put it on paper so that you are ready to go, okay? Grab paper and a pencil, or if you have the printable ebook that you can get at aslobcomesclean.com slash 14, the number 1414, that will help you work through this, okay? So you are going to write down every single meal for every single day that people are going to be in your house. And we're going to make a plan. It doesn't have to be fancy for all the meals. Okay, but you need to know what it is you're going to be doing and what you're going to need to make sure that you have ahead of time. I also want you to write down the number of guests that will be at each meal. Will there be 15 people there for Thanksgiving dinner, plus the three people that are in your family, whatever. Write the number of people who are eating at each meal and then make your plan. Even if it's cold cereal, put it on the plan just so that you don't have to have that nagging at you as you are working through this somewhat stressful for people like me process of getting your house ready to open the front door. Okay. Then I want you to go through and make a list of everything that you're going to need for each of those meals. Then I want you to go through your pantry and your freezer and see what you already have and then create your grocery list. Got it? So let's talk about some options for when you feed guests, okay? Um, simplify, that's the number one option. I mean, you know, choose a meal that you want to be the fancy meal, maybe it's the official holiday meal, and then keep the other ones simple. What are some things that you can make ahead so that you don't have to worry about it? We're gonna have a cooking day that's coming up. What are some things that you just go, you know what, everybody really likes Stouffer's lasagna. I don't know, but what can you do to make this as simple as possible according to how much work you're gonna have to do on your house for you to actually be ready to be willing to let people come inside, okay? If your house is like, oh, okay, you know, 20 minutes every day and I'll be fine, um, I'll have this all perfect, maybe you can put a lot more effort into meals. But if your house is a total disaster and you're going, oh, this is going to be a lot of work every single day, you might need to keep your meals even more simple, okay? So be realistic about this. The other thing that is what we do as a family for large meals, now I do have people who live nearby and can cook in their own houses, we delegate, okay? We decide who is gonna make what of the main dishes so that nobody is stuck doing every single bit of the cooking. Here's the main piece of advice I have. If somebody says, can I bring a dessert? I know, my natural tendency is to say, oh no, I've got that under control. Say yes. Say yes, bring a dessert. And then that way, you know that there's gonna be dessert. And so if you run out of time, you're not gonna have to worry about it. If you wanna make an extra dessert, make it if you have the time. 
but you're going to be able to rest easier and be ready and not be so stressed out if you take other people's offers of help, okay? If it's family members that you feel like you can ask that, just say, hey, we're having it at my house this year. I'm gonna make the turkey and the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Um, can you make the vegetables? Can you make a salad? Make whatever, can you make the rolls? I don't know, but divide up, figure out what it is that you would wanna have and ask people to help if that's the type of meal that you are serving, okay? Um, if people say, what can we bring? Say, why don't you bring whatever you want for breakfasts, okay? If you're having people for a couple of days, that's one of the things that my family does when we go away and we stay somewhere. Each family takes a meal that they're in charge of. That means no one's in the kitchen all the time, the whole entire time that you're wanting to be with family. Um, but everybody has a time, something that they're in charge of that they have to plan. So just kind of be thinking along those lines. Also with the consideration of what you have figured out has to be done just cleaning wise in your house. So once you have your full meal plan for the whole time your guests will be there and your full shopping list already created, you've decided and texted people, like don't just think it in your brain, go ahead and text them and say, hey, can you do this? Are you willing to do this? Um, once you have all that figured out and planned, it's out of your brain, it's on paper, <sighs> go back, concentrate on your house and keep on working through the room prioritization worksheet list of tasks that you wanna accomplish. Just don't forget, start in the room that your guests will spend the most time in, okay? Check things off the list there. For the rest of the time that you have to work today, do that. Do as many things off that list as you can, okay? Don't forget, you can get a printable um, ebook of everything that I am doing for these 14 days here in these videos. Um, I also have podcasts where I talk through it. I'm gonna have links to all that down there. If you want to get the, the ebook through the end of November, it is gonna be 50% off, which makes it $4 um, on sale with the code YouTube. Okay, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Have fun cleaning.